What's going on, ladies and gents? Dal, we're here for T3G along with Harris, and we're here to review Warcraft. And as you the can movie. tell, we are in the car again, so which means we just watched it. I watched it for the second time. Yeah. First time around, I was extremely tired, so I fell asleep through a few points of it. So I want, and I wanted to see it again with you, uh, and it definitely helped to see it again. Here's what I want to say right off the bat, and I, I just said it to you when we were walking. I said. It's a really good movie. It is a phenomenal fan movie, but it is a really good movie. Yeah. Like, I don't... Here's the thing. A lot of people complain, oh, the orc female looks too sexy. Because that's the only one that does, and she's a half-breed. So... Yeah. She's a half-breed. All the other orc women also, were also, hideous. Also, it's clear that... It's clear that uh, Madi was her father, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure Mundi was her father. Uh, yeah, I think that's the route they went. At least that's it. Felt like that's what they. Yeah, did. he was like, oh, noble people. Yeah, a woman, you know, liked me for who I was, and I was like, did he tell me that he's her dad right now? Yeah, like, yeah. So I don't, I don't <laughs> know. Uh, you know, that's kind of what I, uh, I thought they were hinting yeah. at. Um, listen, out of this, I mean, here's the thing. Can we nitpick a little bit yeah. here and there? Sure, of course, but. I think ultimately, here's a few things that I personally believe. One, the acting almost out of everybody is great. It really is. I mean, I don't... It's it's not amazing. It's not phenomenal. But yeah. I think it's damn near yeah, I great. Think, I, think I think everyone... Think it's really good to great. Yeah, I would say... Yeah, I, I would say, no. you know, no one's providing Oscar-worthy performances. The, right. But I think everyone does their job really well. I don't... I'm not, I'm never thinking that that person is not that character. The only one I don't a hundred percent care for is uh, the guy that plays Catgar. For some reason, I don't know if it's his really young-looking face. Like I get that's a young Catgar because this is when humans met orcs. Yeah, this is Warcraft the, one. This is yeah. This is you. You know, humans. This is telling the story. So in the beginning, you watch an orc and a human basically duel. Right. right, that's what we saw. And as that's happening, he tells you this is the story before they met each other, before right. they knew of each other's existence, or at least before humans knew of orcs. Yeah, so anybody um, that's playing World of Warcraft right now, Kedgar is like old, he's the main warlock yeah, yeah, dude. He's, yeah, he's, so you gotta remember this is This is way this before. Is this decades is when he's early. starting out. Um so I didn't really care much for the kid that's playing Cadgar. He was a little young. I but think that's what it was. That's kind of the only thing I can say is he was a little young and he showed his inexperience. Right. But I think that played in with the character. Yeah. I think that played in. He was as good as he was almost by accident. Yeah. And yeah. I think that kind of played into the yeah. way he portrayed yeah. it. So um, I think the acting was was really well done for from everybody. Yeah, yeah, I, like I, said, I never thought that that person Ben was Foster was a badass Medivh. I mean, I believe that's his name, Ben Foster. He just, he nailed it, I think. He did, I mean, but I've never seen that guy do a bad role. Like, even, I think, in a shitty movie, I don't think he's I, done a bad I'll role. I'll be honest with you, I don't know any other roles that he's been in he's, off the top of my head. Uh, I mean, if, one of the ones I can tell you right off, he was in the Western, I believe, 312 to Yuma or something like 310 that. 310 to Yuma. 310 to Yuma. Uh, so he's, and there's a few other ones that he's been in, but okay. uh, he's the me, crazy it, guy. Yeah, it took me a second guy. to place him, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, but I've seen a lot of his stuff. I just, that's the first one that comes to mind. Right. And I've never seen him do a bad role. And he definitely does it again. He just does a badass job. And, I mean, I've never seen him play a caster. So for him to play a magician, for him to play somebody who right. casts spells, fucking great job. Really, I what thought, else can I, thought, I say? I thought all the mages were done beautifully. Yeah, yeah. Uh, every, every caster I thought was done perfectly. Yeah. Goldon looked like Goldon. Oh my god, yeah. And when as soon as he came out, I was like, son of a bitch, that's definitely Goldon. Yeah, like, we'll, we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, the guy that plays Lothar, the, ultimately, who becomes king yeah. of... Uh, if you guys hear that, we're still in the parking structure and somebody's having fun. I believe that's a motorcycle. The guy that plays Lothar, I think, does a great job. Like, yeah. he really just... When, when he's being serious, you can tell he is yeah. serious. Uh, when... He is destroyed. 
you can tell that when he's having fun you can tell like he just nails that and I think he does a great job and you got the little scar showing you can tell it's kind of there but not really there and I, I think he's gonna get the additional one later on as this uh, story progresses um, the king uh, I forgot the king's name because I don't think it was Varen or uh, whatever because uh, I don't think that's the uh, this king's name uh, but the king does a great job. It's uh, uh, Tony Stark's dad. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's Anthony Stark. Anthony Stark. Or Howard. Oh, Howard. Howard. Yeah, it's Howard Stark. Um, he does a great job, once again. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen him portray anything in medieval times type of deal. So mm -hmm. uh, this was definitely interesting to see him play. And I think he, he did, did a good job, job because he's he's done so much really recognizable stuff right he's the only one that i can say i don't, know, I don't even want to say that he took me out of it it's just that i recognized him yeah, as an actor yeah. before I, I i took him on as the king i agree um I agree. you know when he's in the when he's in the helmet i thought it was funny because he's got this full-on helmet i'm like there's there's a parallel there yeah there's a funny parallel yeah but I, yeah i, think, I, I, I mean think, i still think honestly, he did a good job i the only thing that i can say is i feel like his hair wasn't long enough I feel like his hair and his beard weren't big enough. Like he's king. Like if he needs, needs to be regal, more majestic, regal needs to be more majestic. Uh, listen, overall, I really can't talk too much about it. But I mean, I can go all day, but I don't really want to. I mean, everybody does a really, really good. Like I said, the only person that honestly takes me out of it is the guy that plays Cadgar. But I, once again, I think it's. Because he's younger, he definitely, I think this is his, probably his first role, if not his second. Or he hasn't been in anything really big. So Right. I um, feel like I recognize him from something. I just can't think of what. So, but he, uh, that's that's really it. Everybody else does a really, really almost great job at what they need to do. All the orcs, I think, do a phenomenal job. All the guys that I play think, the I orcs think everybody do a phenomenal who, Yeah, I think job. everybody who played the orcs did a great job. Yeah. Uh, Considering all that CG, you know, they're yeah, most of it was CG. A lot of mimic. it, a lot of it is voice acting yeah. at that point. So they did a they did a really good job with that. I mean, a, all their voices were uh, post, yeah. So they did their normal voices and then and they then put post over yeah, it, of course. But they still there was a lot of it voice acting. The way you pr express yourself, you know, verbally is going to affect how that character no, is obviously, sounds. A lot of the facial uh, uh, stuff that was going on, they did that. They had, obviously, the dots on, and they yeah, mo they mimic, yeah, they mo-capped mo uh, uh, what they wanted to express. So, you know, you still got that out of it. Uh, and I think that's where CG really comes in to play, where compared to, you know, you doing prosthetics and stuff like that, you can't show as much emotion. With CG, you definitely right. can. But going... To the next part where you were going and saying Goldan looks like visually this movie is stunning. I, I really... think it looks great. I think the only thing I can say is the CG is not perfect. The CG is not perfect, but it's great. Like, damn near perfect. It's great. It is definitely. There's great. definitely scenes where wardrobe it... is amazing. Wardrobe is fantastic. I mean, wardrobe those, is amazing. Those armors are real. Yeah. Those armors are real. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Um, I mean, they even show you, if you ever watch the behind the scenes, you can look it up. They go through showing you what they've done. The, they created those. There armors. are definitely scenes where I don't know if it just wasn't meshing right, if they just didn't finish or right. what. But just there are scenes like uh, the, where she hands him the kid in the night. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, his arm looked plastic. And I'm like, okay. But the thing about that is the story, I feel, is really good to that it brings you in and that isn't going to take you out of See, it. See, the arm You're didn't look plastic. The More like, uh, to me, at least when I was watching it, to me it looked like more like the handing, the when the baby got put on his hand, uh, that transition kind of didn't look as as good but i don't know to it's, me it's minuscule stuff it's yeah really, it's, I think it's very it's, 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 it's little very stuff, small that, stuff that that takes it away from being perfect it's it's damn near perfect yeah it's it, damn near i think perfect, it's i think it's I really think. good i mean i wouldn't say damn near perfect i would say i mean look, look at like what, for me, what did like, we, we just talk about what was the last thing you saw x-men x-men had perfect graphics nearly perfect graphics i would say Jungle Book had nearly perfect graphics. I haven't like, seen Jungle Book. I would say this is... I would say this is on the same level. I mean, for what they I would, were I would get, here, Here's the thing. I would say, if you were just to look at the, the, the graphics, the quality of the graphics, I would say it's on the same level as Civil War. Okay. I would say it's better than Civil War in that, 
way more of this movie is CG. Yeah. Way yeah. more. The entire landscape is CG. Yeah. You have to think and about that. And it looks amazing. It looks great. Every landscape that they created looks great. Yeah. My, the only thing, and it's, be, it's just because you have to show, there's a lot of CG involved yeah. in showing giant orcs next to normal oh, yeah, humans. Yeah. The orcs are not perfect. But again, that's like looking at Tony Stark in Civil War being like, that's definitely yeah, a painted on yeah, Iron Man armor. Yeah. You know, that's there was those scenes where you're like, uh, <laughs> some someone didn't do their job that day. Yeah, but it's you know, whereas in this, there's so much CG, I can forgive the little stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I can forgive the moments where, the like I said, of- his arm, it just it was super shiny, yeah, 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 and I, I was you. like, okay. I got you. I mean, it didn't like, bother I agree. Me. I agree. Like, there's... whereas like the Iron Man stuff did bother me because I know they can do it better. They can do it way better. Uh, it's a way bigger uh, company, and they've been doing it. So right. there's no reason for that. Where here, I hope this mo- movie gets money. I I 100 agree with you. Uh, you I know, think it's made its budget foreign you said it definitely made its but it, well it, it definitely made the production budget now yeah. whatever the uh, additional yeah. money after i think that, it made the production but budget I, in china <laughs> it did i believe so yeah uh, so it, it definitely deserves whatever money it needs to make here's the thing can you go into nitpicking and saying why this movie isn't a good movie I can do that for every movie as we've proven before. Sure. We've done that. I've I've proven it in Daredevil. Like when we reviewed Daredevil, I proved how you can use the same arguments for other things for that show. You can always do it. Does it mean you should? No, because you should take into consideration what you just watched. We literally watched where a movie was 60 to 70% CG. And it was damn near amazing. I mean, it was amazing. It was amazing. It was a great was, movie, yeah. I, I, I want to say damn near perfect, but it, it, I guess it's not, but it's fucking amazing. Yeah. Like, I just don't know how there's, else There's to put great it. stuff in it. I mean, here's the thing. There's great action pieces. There's great there's It's great continuous. Acting. Like, I, there's never yeah. a moment that I'm thinking, there's, oh, yeah, when's there's this no, scene going to go by? Yeah, there's no boring spots. Even the conversations yeah. drive the plot forward, give you context yeah. to, to decisions to motivations everything in this movie works to make the movie better like i said there's not a, a single m- scene a single sequence where you're looking at it like what the hell is the point of this i agree i agree 100 i don't i don't know whoever is all the people that are giving this a horrible review saying it's a god awful movie or whatever the words might be that is on the awful side of things i think those people are looking for something in this these type of movies that are never going to be there yeah i completely and I'm agree sorry. that's that's one of those things that they they're coming at this kind of movie the same way they come at like an Oscar contender, right? And you just can't you can't measure those things against each not, other. Not at all. I, I it's think, like uh, it's like saying, oh, I'm gonna go and get dinner at a restaurant versus I'm gonna go get dinner at McDonald's. Right. Yes, they're both restaurants. Yeah. But they're two different experiences. Absolutely. I mean, to me, it's like if you expect every movie to be an Oscar contender, you're going to be disappointed a lot and all your reviews are going to be very bad. I go into these movies to be entertained and I damn was entertained. Absolutely. 100%, Absolutely. 100% entertained. That's the biggest thing. It's listen, it's summer. I came out here to be entertained. Yeah. You know, it did its job. It did, it did its job. It was worth the money. I was never taken out of it. Like I was never like, oh god, that's so awful. Why did he say that? Why did he do yeah. that? Never once. The entire time I was like, man, I can't wait to see what the hell next scene brings. Yeah. I I, I just I enjoyed it thoroughly. I couldn't recommend it more. It deserves every penny it makes. And if you are a player of World of Warcraft, oh my or God. played Warcraft. Oh, yeah. All those little things like the Murloc when they're passing it. Yeah, right. That was just the littlest thing. Although... Made no, <laughs> made no difference to anyone. It was just a... It's a, just, a yeah. But it was it was just a, a little gift yeah. to us. And it's all the little things. All the, the shots of the st- shots of Stormwind. You got to understand, if you're a current player of World of Warcraft, mm-hmm. Stormwind's jacked up. Yeah. So now looking at like, oh, Stormwind and its glory days, yeah. like, I remember uh, that. Uh. I was part of that, you know, in the early days. Yeah. So now in the current days when everything's different, you have that comparison. Yeah. So it, it looked really good. The whole movie Iron was done Forge, really well. Iron Forge, Iron Forge was amazing. As soon as it came off screen, I'm like, it sure is. It's it like sure Iron Forge. I'm like, it sure is. Show is. Yeah. I show is um, Iron Forge. 
Yeah, a lot of character development. I mean, you see Duratar being uh, developed very well in this movie. Goldan, you see developed very well. You see that it's, he's a Here's he's the a thing. Maniac. To me, I'm looking at it, and as soon as Goldan comes out, I'm already looking, I'm already thinking of like, oh, like, I know way more than yeah, anyone yeah, in the movie yeah, does right course, now. Absolutely. Like, you know, like, because, you know, current storylines have revealed more about Goldan and yeah. what he's done. So... Looking at it, I'm sitting there like, man. Also, I'm pretty sure at the beginning there, when they what they come from is Draenor, which is the current story that we're we yeah, yeah. Out. I believe that is which correct. Is, yeah, we, from what it looks like, yeah, the like. current storyline is the the, the hit. I the mean, past. they go through the they go through the port the dark portal. So, um, I mean, essentially is what I believe is what we're because they were all Dra they were all Draenor. Yeah, and some people are confused though. How are some brown and some are green? Because the green ones are, and if you follow the lore, uh, if you're a person that's asking that question and you play World of Warcraft, you must not pay attention to the story whatsoever. They do mention it also in the movie, so if you're a person that's just watching the movie, you're not paying attention to movies. They tell you that the fell, or the curse that Gul'dan uses, affects the orcs and it changes them from their regular color to this green orc that you see. And due to that, it messes with their minds. It messes to how they behave, how they act, who they are. That's why you see Durator as a normal orc and he is not affected by that and he is able to think a little more straightforward. Although, even though they're affected, you can tell at the certain point in the movie, uh, kind of towards the end, where Durator fights Gul'dan. Durtan. Durtan, my bad. Uh, fights Gul'dan. You see that the orcs are still somewhat there mentally, not a hundred percent, but they definitely are he like. He still has, he still has yeah. influence, but but they still have. They're like, like that's not our his, way. Yeah, his yeah. influence is new. Their culture is. Ancient. ancient right so it, it's part of them before he was so around. if you so are questioning that... why something didn't make sense to you you either a didn't pay attention to the movie or b if you're a player you did just never paid attention to any part of the story right um but who's uh, the kid which kid the, the kid uh, Durtan's kid? Yeah. Uh, some people said Thrall. Uh, I have to look that I up. You feel have... like that's what he said. Because the Doomhammer, okay, Doomhammer, the guy we saw, Doomhammer with the Doomhammer. Right. Uh, the Doomhammer is a shaman weapon, so, uh, but Thrall is technically a shaman, and, uh, but I believe it is. So if you look of, um... Let's see, Durtan, well. Yeah. Uh, let's see, his kid, Durotan. So there's dirt and seven. I want to say it's thrall. I'm not relatives. 100%. Relatives. There we go. Relatives. Uh, brother, best friend, son. Thrall. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it is thrall. But I couldn't. I couldn't hear the name they originally were calling him because they weren't calling him thrall. I think he gets thrall from the humans. Or at least that's how. They oh, go. that dude. Yeah, Thrall. Dead dude! The shaman, yeah. Dead the guy dude. that fights alongside the humans yeah. and the horrors that tries to get the horde together. So it'll be interesting. Uh, they do end the story with definitely uh, as a continuation. It is not a. It is definitely a one-parter. It is not a standalone movie. Uh, you definitely there is definitely a sense of I there needs like, to be a continuation. I feel like they did a good enough job as far as completing this story. Mm. And setting up potential for future stories. They definitely leave you with like, all right, well, there's more story to be told. Yeah. But it doesn't end with like cliffhanger. Not a cliffhanger. I need, hanger, you, I need no. to know more. Like, it's like this story ends. This chapter, let's say, ends. This chapter ends. And we have more to tell. More is going to happen. Yeah, I mean, the chapter ended, but there's the re there was not a resolution. So no. like that. It's that's like we kinda... we just saw the battle at the beginning right. of a war of, exactly. a, of a massive war. Yeah. So I think everything's really good. Um, honestly, I, I really there's nothing else. I don't know if I'm forgetting anything. Acting, visuals, wardrobe. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I think, think that's it. Really, I think, yeah, pacing. We said pacing is yeah, really pacing good. Pacing is great. Um, and and I don't know. I don't know what so else. Go you spend would the want. money. Yeah, absolutely. Please spend full price. Or yeah. I mean, if you can't, you can't. But you know. Give this movie your money. And, it deserves and, and, it. It deserves it. And uh, also, I feel like this is like a somewhat spoilery review, but yeah, I know. I don't know. We didn't really mention too much. Whatever. But we'll we'll put it in the comment that you know spoilers might some be some spoilers. There. Um, but yeah, otherwise retroactive spoilers. Right. <laughs> otherwise, 
I, I couldn't recommend them more. I don't think you're going to be disappointed if, like I said, if you are a person that's looking for a Oscar movie, don't go see this movie because you're going to be disappointed by a lot of if movies. If you are a Warcraft or World Warcraft player that's like looking to reviews before you go see it, go see it. Go I see think, it, yeah. I think you'll enjoy it. I think the, the little lore bits that you get in the background... You know, I was telling him the whole the whole time I'm looking. I'm like, I've been there, I've been there. Oh and yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I've never if been there. And now yes. I'm, I'm sitting there. And I was like, well, that's clearly the Badlands. I'm like, I can find that tower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I can go and yeah. I can find that tower. Um, if you're a sci-fi person and you're watching this, uh, hopefully we haven't spoiled anything for any of you. Uh, all, any of you that are players know most of the story. Right, yeah. But uh, if you're a sci-fi person or a fantasy person that wants to see it, is debating on seeing this movie, go see it. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah. Um, like I said, I don't think we've said anything really that spoils the movie, or at least that you haven't seen in the trailer. So. Yeah, yeah. no. It's, I think it's done well. I think it's, it's worth the money. Go it's see it. That's my it. final word. That's go it. see it. Thumbs up. I think that's it. Appreciate you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.